Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now in this tutorial, um, this will be the last tutorial for session 3. Okay, and in this tutorial, we will be looking at uh, how to do some basic statistical operations in Python. Okay, now in Python and uh, like all the other operations available, okay, all the other operations being possible okay it also gives you all chances to do work with statistics okay now uh, to do if you want to work with statistical operations there are uh, it's possible using the numpy and scipy modules available okay for instance i mean it, it, this will be a very short tutorial this is actually a very short tutorial guys so don't be, uh, so it's very simple i don't i'm not going to use my uh, sci uh, i mean spider spider for this okay it's very simple okay now how do we do is that there are some uh, options that are available in numpy okay now let's say you have a value x okay and you have a value y and you calculate y y is actually 1 plus np of sine numpy of sine y1 is 1 plus numpy of cos so y is actually 1 plus sine x y1 is actually 1 plus cos x okay now, if you want to do, if you want to calculate the mean of functions, what you do is that uh, in Python, uh, in NumPy, you have this uh, function called as mean, with which you can calculate the mean of the function. Okay, and uh, if you have this function called as std, okay, through which you can calculate the standard deviation of the function. Okay, and if you want to calculate the variance of the function, it is possible using this function var. Now, if you were to run all this and print them up, okay. The mean of y was 1, the standard deviation is 0.07359, 7 and so on. Uh, that's the standard deviation, the variance is given by 0.49504, so on. Okay. And similarly, if you want to do covariance option, it's also possible. Now, the covariance is actually given by, uh, is actually given by this command, the np.cov. Now what does this, uh, this does is that it calculates a covariance of the matrix, okay? And if you just pass only one value to it, then it's going to calculate just the uh, variance of it, and it's going uh, it's just going to calculate the simple variance of it and give returns you back. If you value if you pass two values to it, it will going to calculate the covariance and uh, it does the job accordingly and returns it back, okay? The, okay, and if you guys want, you can just copy this up, run this up. It will, it'll be, it'll be simple, and you guys will understand what's going on. Okay, and these are some of the basic statistical operations going on. Okay, and uh, other than that, we have, uh, we have a lot of uh, advanced statistical operations that are possible. Are uh, possible in Python, and that is possible by, uh, that is possible using the SciPy module. Okay, SciPy module has this option called as stats scipy.stats okay okay it's uh, it's actually the same page if you just go to Wik, uh, google if you just google this up you'll get the uh, you will get this option scipy.stats okay now here you just have like about uh, literally thousand not thousand uh, literally uh, hundreds of uh, uh, variables and functions uh, that with which you which is very very helpful and essential for uh, doing all your statistical operations. You have a lot of continuous distributions, uh, which uh, which uh, give you uh, probable distributions like alpha distribution, beta distribution, chi square distribution, Erlang distribution, exponential distribution, F distribution, uh, Pareto continuous distribution, normal continuous distribution, like that. And if you want to do any, uh, if you want to do some kind of any kind of distribution like t, trial, uh, t truncate, uh, trunc, sorry, uh, truncate normal continuous distribution, variable distribution, and everything, you have all of them available over here. You have almost almost all the uh, commonly used statistical uh, statistical distributions available over here in these things. And then you have multivariate distributions as well, Vari uh, distributions that involve multiple variables like uh, multivariable normal, Dirichlet, and everything. If you guys want more explanation, just click on these tabs. They'll take you to a new page, and where they'll explain you guys, uh, they'll explain you guys all the parameters in it, the function in it, and they'll also give you guys an example as to how they look like, how they look like with proper documentation and everything. 
I don't I thought of covering this in detail but uh, the thing is there's just just too many over here uh, I thought okay it's better and, and the documentation itself is so good I thought so I thought okay it's better I just show that show it off nothing more okay like that you have discrete distributions as well like Poisson distribution Bernoulli Boltzmann Laplace Laplace oh Laplace is a distribution hmm, it's interesting I never saw this okay uh, okay instance where random variable class dialog close okay fine okay I think I'll read this separately on my own not a big not a big deal not a big deal you have all the discrete distributions like this and you have statistical functions like these now these statistical functions describe the, the disc gives descriptive statistics geometrical mean harmonic mean kurtosis trimmed mean uh, variance maximum minimum nth k statistics skewness uh, test normal test moment mom, find the nth moment like that they also help you to give you uh, cumulative frequencies histograms percentile scores percentile scores and everything what you do if you uh, have any quick question or any qu uh, query just right click the uh, right click these options over here and uh, that's it it'll, it'll also it will show you all of them explaining what to do or how to do and what are the functions in it and everything and it also gives you it gives you a lot of statistical chi uh, tests like chi-square tests something like chi-square test f, f test and everything uh, even if you ask ANOVA test as well ANOVA test as well and uh, you have several statistical function you have circular statistical functions as well and plot test and all not only that do you have a lot of uh, master statistical functions like these there is too many you get to look at and these will be very 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 beneficial if you guys are especially working with um, data sets data sets and want to work with statistics and all okay if you guys want any details about it I, I mean just go to any option right click it and you have it you have it okay uh, all that's and that's about it it's not that difficult and if you guys are able to understand everything as to everything as to how things proceed in the pair with the previous tutorials you guys understand what's going on over here and you guys will follow what's going and it'll be easy for you guys too okay well that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial now in the next session which is actually session four i'll be talking to you guys about uh, uh ipython notebooks how to make some presentations and documentations in ipython notebook okay uh, I'm going to break this apart and going to give you guys more uh, demos on how to do it and everything. Okay, and there will be and in the subsequent session there will be a one the single demo of F2Py, how to combine or uh, how to invoke Fortran files and Fortran subroutines in Python and to get a lot of jobs done. And then uh, there are uh, op I mean I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, tell much about Python. It's actually a combination of Python and Cyth Python and C programming. Uh, to be honest, I have uh, I know C, I know Python, but I know I, I mean I haven't worked with the Python extensively, so I can't give you proper explanation for that. But I can I can show you I can show you places where I can get all these, okay, and some takeaway notes and information. Well, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.